What else now? WJR, Dan, I take it you're not a fan of Donald Trump. Go ahead, tell us why. Yeah, so um, you keep calling Donald a cons conservative, and all I see is somebody that's been very liberal, changing his views, taking on the popular stand, and um, he does not have, you know, say he's got a popular view now. He's not going on what he stood for all his last nine months ago. Uh -huh. well, where do you okay? Let's let's start at the top. He did say he would build a border with uh, Mexico, and that triggered this whole immigration discussion. No one else had been able to do that do that until Trump came along. Isn't that true? Where was he when Obama wanted? No, 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 please let's not go back again because you're listening to Ted Cruz's stooges on the radio. Please let's not go backwards. Tell me what other candidate made immigration a national issue other than Donald Trump. Ted Cruz stood up and fought for it. Now let's go to the next topic. Tell me what other candidate made the issue of Muslim immigration an issue other than Donald Trump. Who did that? Was it Ted Cruz or Donald Trump? Of course, the press has been kissing Donald Trump's butt. These guys have been talking about they want Wait, to... Wait, no, sir, you're not answering me. Who made Muslim immigration to America a national issue? Was it Donald Trump? Or Ted Cruz. Once the ratings just like you, people have been talking. Are you going to answer me, or else we're not having a dialogue? You must answer me because it's my show. Don't go on with the talking points said to you, sent to you by the Ted Cruz campaign. Who was it who made Muslim immigration to the U.S. a national debate? Was it Trump or Cruz? Stimulus package. Oh, he's a conservative. That's all. Okay, he's reading the Ted Cruz sheet. It's going around America now. So it's like a like a Kleenex they're sending around. Here, here are the talking points. Call talk show host and bash Trump so we can lose the election. Make certain we lose the election again because we're so smart. We are such smart, diehard conservatives that we want to lose again. Because we're purists, we want to lose again. We want to show everyone how smart we are. Didn't hear a word I said. I repeated it nine times. Would you rather be right or you'd rather be smart? Actually, I repeated it now about 13 times. It shows you how stupid the audience is. I guess when the ad people say for the general public, you have to repeat something nine times for them to hear it. And I repeated it 13 times, and they still don't hear it. It means that my audience, at least the, the cruise bots, are stupid than the average American thinking they're smarter. No, I don't like Cruz. In fact, the more I see about him, the less I like him. I think he's a carpetbagger and a phony. How's that? I think he wrapped himself in the mantle of conservatism. How do you like that? I'll take someone who closed the borders, stopped the massive influx of Muslims, give us fiscal conservatism, and only give me 60% on social issues, rather than lose, because I'm such a purist. That's all. You want to lose the election, go ahead, keep bashing Trump. Rip him apart, be another Newt Gingrich, that slob. Gingrich destroyed Romney last time because he worked for the Democrat Party, in my opinion. And now we have the same thing going on. The same exact dynamic. I told you it was Gingrich who tore uh, uh, Romney apart, destroyed the chances for him to me. He could have won if it wasn't for that lying thing, Newt Gingrich. I, I was yelling and screaming about it last time. I said Gingrich is doing more damage to Trump than the Democrat Party is. And he gave us, it was he who gave us Obama. It was Gingrich who did it by running uh, this campaign against Romney over and over again. Then all of the arguments that Romney were used against Romney by Gingrich, meaning the, the very smart, conservative Gingrich, were then used by Obama's campaign to destroy Romney. That's exactly the dynamic that's playing out now. Only this time it's Ted Cruz, not Newt Gingrich. And you heard it from Michael Savage. Write it down. Michael Savage. You want to be right or you want to be smart? Back in a minute. All right, stop the music. Oh, this is earth-shaking. Oh, it's earth-shaking. Sarah Palin just endorsed Donald Trump. Great. Oh, I can sleep better. Great. That's so important. Sarah Palin endorses Donald Trump. That's smart. Just what he needed. Now I can rest. I can, I can sleep much better tonight. The very day they could have taken Hillary down on the email thing, they put up this. I, I have no words for this. I'm afraid we're seeing the meltdown now of the campaign where they're turning to the very same people who uh, destroyed Romney. They're undermining him from within. He's not listening to those who know who he can, what he could do. They're listening to the professional advisors, and it happens to every campaign just at this point. Just when they're about to win, they lose. He needed Palin like a hole in the head. 
loan from Goldman Sachs. Uh, did you hear this little story about your friend Ted Cruz? Ted Cruz forgot to mention massive loan from Goldman Sachs, his wife's employer. Oh, I know he's as pure as the driven snow. And we know he's eligible to run for the president of Canada. But now there's a new scandal. His wife, Heidi, worked for Goldman Sachs. And he got loans from Citibank and Goldman Sachs, who are Heidi Works, which eventually totaled, totaled a million dollars. Cruz reported putting 1.2 mil, which he's described as all we had saved. That sounds like Hillary again. Poor little folks. Into his 2012 Senate campaign. But according to this article, it doesn't appear that the Cruz couple liquidated their assets. Now, it's perfectly legal for a candidate to take out bank loans to finance their campaign. But they have to report it. And the two loans don't appear in Cruz's FEC filings, by the way. Other campaigns have been investigated and fined for failing to make such disclosures. So for those of you who are Cruz supporters, and I know many of you are, he's not perfect. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't elevate him to God's head. To Godhead, it's not going to work. Cruz financed 2012 campaign with loans from Goldman Sachs and Citibank. It's a huge story. It's a very big story, even though you don't want to hear it. You can't put your head in the sand because it's going to come out down the line. It's official, though. Don't worry. You can sleep better at night. ISIS is now quaking in their, in their robes. Sarah Palin just endorsed Donald Trump. Isn't that wonderful? She endorsed him in Iowa. I don't understand why that matters, but okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's of absolute no value or of negative value. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The way of all flesh. How when you're 40 and you live forever, anything you want, drugs, sex, rock and roll, nothing's going to hit you. You're going to outlive your parents, so you think. Because they were stuck, stuck in the mud. They, they went to church. <clears throat> they didn't have sexual liberation. Falling like ten pins. Years later, everyone goes. Dog now, I have to deal with that. Horrible, the whole thing, the, the flesh that God gave us. Supposed to believe that it's a spirit entrapped in flesh. Don't get me started on that whole issue because I've been dealing with it for about uh, a long time. <laughs> yeah, is there an afterlife? Is Teddy going to be there? I don't know. It's great. Dogs, did they go to heaven? Did anyone do that one? I had I had woke up three o'clock because the doctor sent this thing that the teeth are so bad. He had five teeth pulled two years ago. It was a nightmare. Now two more are hanging like. A loose tooth. They're hanging like America's hanging in the balance. But she can't remove them because he has a heart murmur. So he has to go to a cardiac doctor to see if the murmur's too severe for anesthesia. If it is, then they really, really have problems. So I laid there in the bed, and the rain came at 3 in the morning, and the thud, ba boom, ba bang, the rain, the earth, the wet, the father, the mother, the brother, in the ground, the relatives going back, and the whole thing, now i got to put the dog in this way. Eventually, there it goes, down in the hole, in the whole imaginary funeral for a dog. Am I crazy? Why not? He's better than any person I ever met. Should I put it on the Internet? Will my listeners care? He's got a book coming out in May. It's all about him. I mean, it's unbelievable. Why is it ha that? But boom, bang. Well, you don't think that way? Does anyone else ever have that happen? Three in the morning? No, no one thinks about it. Everyone's immortal. I'm the only one who ever thinks about these things. I am greatly honored to receive Sarah's endorsement, Mr. Trump said. She is a great friend and a high-quality person whom I have great respect for. I'm proud to have her support. I'm sorry. To me, it's a neg. <clears throat> Why he did this is a matter of conjecture. But, however, my friends, what in the world does he think she will bring to the party? God forbid he selects her as a running mate. That's the end of the campaign. Over. Over. <laughs> okay, let's talk about politics. That's all you're going to talk about, and I can see this. Now until November, this is my life. This is what God gave me to do. Democrat, Republican, Republican, Democrat. Rep everything I never wanted to do, I have to do now, day and night. Democrat, Republican, Republican, Democrat, Democrat, Republican, Republican. 
day and night, I have to do this till November. All these years of education and questing and searching, searching for the Holy Grail, for medicinal plants, for cures, vitamins that will help people. All the science I read, all the poetry I read, all the science of poetry that I read, this is what it comes down to. Why them Democrats are no good? Now I tell you those Republicans are a salvation for the world. Now it Cruz is much better than Trump. No, you're an idiot. No, it's Trump. I say it's Cruz. I say it's Trump. This is what my ancestors survived the black hordes for. This is what they survived the black death for. This is what they survived all of the horrors of the century, so I should talk about Democrats and Republicans. <laughs> uh, okay, Andrew on WABC, let's talk about Democrats and Republicans. What's your call about? Sorry about that. Sarah Palin, I think, because of the Cruz attack, that uh, Trump's not a real conservative. That's why he wanted Sarah Palin. Um, endorsement, she's the opposite of New York values. She hunts oh, hold on. You mean she's wait, She's the opposite of New York values. You know, I don't know everything about Sarah Palin, but uh, it seems to me they marry each other in her family. All you need to know is she's on the uh, moose. Wait, wait, how many different Palins have married each other and had children with each other? What do you mean they're, they're opposite of New York values? What, what, what made them suddenly so pure and the paragon of values? Where'd that come from? I'm not saying they're pure, but she hunts moose. They're on the list when the moose is killed in the winter, the roadkill list. So Yo, I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, to me, that doesn't play very well. I don't really care whether you kill a moose or not. That's like that other guy, that cracker that they found that they were all embracing for a while. I'm going with the beard down to his, his puppet. That one who, uh, with the whistles that he makes, the duck whistles. What did they embrace Duck Dynasty for? They all had him like it was God. Some cracker from the backwoods because he made a million dollars a minute. Suddenly they loved him. Gee, what kind of values are those? You're always gross. He embraced Jesus in the woods. He saw Jesus in a duck whistle. But he know, saw Jesus in a duck whistle. So he was already on everyone's television show. All right, then forget about these calls. Oh no, you can't forget them. That's all anyone anyone wants to talk about. <clears throat> now what? Palin, Obama, Trump, Hillary, Palin, Obama, the 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 the, the Cruz, the dot, the two. Okay, Frank on WABC. What's on your mind? Hey, Michael. Uh, I just started listening to you for a few months, and uh, you're right. I uh, do. I do laugh. Um, I disagree. I, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, a conservative, uh, so I, I'll take Trump, Cruz, Rubio. I'll do whatever I got to do to get anyone in. So we don't. Cor wait. Let me. Let me say this. Yes. So would I. So would I. I'll take even the worst of them. Like Rubio would be better than Hillary. Okay. Well, it, that's a given. So you don't like the fact that I'm exposing things about Cruz. And I'm also saying that his attacks upon Trump are absurd. Not at all. Not at all. I'm just saying, you know, uh, just like you said, Gingers killed Romney. Why are we killing our own? Just let them go at it themselves. And then you who raise a good point. So, but the same applies to why is Cruz killing Trump, who's our best opportunity to take down Hillary. In a general election, I'll have to say it the way I see it. <clears throat> if it is Trump versus Hillary, if she survives this email scandal, which is undoubt, not so sure she will. But let's say she does. It's going to be a tough election, but he has a better chance of beating her than the vampire does. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, and I think, frankly, I think you're wrong as well. I think Palin is a big coup for Trump. Big coup, which is good for him. Listen, I'll, I'll Stop. Now, you're using a word. This is a family show. Please don't say she's a big coup. Uh, please. This is a family show. <laughs> Sorry, but I think it's, uh, I think it's going to help him tremendously. Um, and, and again, what, wait, what do you like about Sarah Palin? Can anyone tell me what is, what is it about her that makes her important? What is she doing now? Is she have a reality show in Nome, Alaska on like a 12 watt station? What does she do? Uh, she's a true conservative, uh, and just like Cruz is. So for try, listen, we don't know what Trump's, what Trump is. I love him. Listen, I think he'll do great. But when he goes in there, Mike, he could do. Go flip flop whichever way he wants. You know, he'll flip flop whichever way. Really? Really? And you don't think that any of the other so called diehard, 100% pure as the driven snow, today conservatives might flip flop when they face the realities of a Congress that's divided? Cruz, no. Cruz, no. I don't think so. I'm that's why he's not getting elected. He's an uncompromising man, number one, which means he's unelectable. And number two, he has baggage himself.